specialty malts. It's bag. These are the different kinds of malts that give us uh, the different kinds of flavors in our beer. So if you're going to make a, a black beer, for example, it would be using quite a bit of black malt and chocolate malt, some of these darker malts, and then uh, we're going to be making something that's amber in color, a lot of the caramel malts that could go into it. Uh, over here to, to my left is the mill room, and that's basically where every brew starts. Um, outside, there's a 50,000 pound uh, silo, and what we do is we mill our, uh, we auger our grains over to this mill room, and then we mill the grains and they drop down below us. So, directly underneath me is the brew house, and that's where we actually make the beer. This is the mill room, it's pretty simple technology. This is a, what's called a, a, a hopper or a, a, a grain bin and uh, underneath of us is what's called a grist case. So what we do is we take the whole kernel grain, bring it in, that unit that's up top is a scale, it basically scales out, weighs out each individual dose of grain so that we get a total, a running total. Uh, drops it down into this hopper so that we have a little bit of an accumulation of grain. Gets milled right here, and then it just simply, simply with gravity drops straight through the floor into a uh, an auger line that'll move it over to what, what, like I said before, is the grist case, and then from there we'll drop down to the mash tun. So, this is where beers start. Recipes happen. I mentioned it a little bit before. Here's kind of what the barley looks like. A little bit. Here's some chocolate barley. It's just been kilned to a different degree. And here is some pale ale barley. As you can see, the barley is kilned a lot less than say the black stuff and so if I'm going to make a pale ale I'll probably use some pale ale barley if I'm going to make a stout or a porter I'll probably use quite a bit of chocolate we're talking about the grain up above us so we're down on the brew house floor this is the brew house the grain basically drops into that red case then from there we go into the water time uh, they call it brewing beer a lot like you're uh, brewing coffee or brewing tea brewing is the same basically the same process. So inside of this tank that we're doing a lot of time, uh, there's a false bottom and uh, some screens. So the barley mixes with water, a lot like coffee or tea. We we'll trickle the water through that, we we'll pump it over here to our cattle. The cattle is this large tank that's right up here behind me. And it's pretty much a static tank, it's just, uh, it's just a cattle. All we basically do there is, is boil this now sweet liquid that we ran across from the mash that over the cup. Uh, there, here's where we'll sprinkle in some hops and uh, kind of get the sweetness from the malted barley, melding with some of the bitterness of the, of the hops and you get a really nice balance. Uh, this tank here is just basically a whirlpool tank and uh, what we do is we pump the beer over the whirlpool tank and it does exactly that, it whirlpools and uh, it acts sort of like a center so the heavier particulates settle down in this cone section down here, but we draw the clear beer off to the side. From there, we run back around this kind of intricate platform over to our heat exchanger, and then from our heat exchanger, uh, the beer is basically flash cooled. Uh, we take it from boiling down to our fermentation temperature uh, in a matter of just you know, seconds as it's passing through the heat exchanger. Uh, what we get is hot water coming out of one side, basically cold beer coming out of the other side, cold wort coming out of the other side. Uh, that cold wort is pumped up here on the floor where you see fermenters, and uh, the hot water is pumped back into what's called the hot liquor tank. Uh, there it's basically just a big hot water heater. It's stored, and we'll reuse that hot water for the next brew. Alright, so let's stand in front of some of our fermenters over here in the fermentation room closet, which is to the back side of the brew house. Uh, basically, all these fermenters are essentially the same. The conical bottom fermenters, 
They vary a little bit in size. We have 60 barrel fermenters, 90 barrel fermenters, and 30 barrel fermenters. Um, they all do basically the same thing. Uh, they're just holding tanks that ferment the beer. Uh, the part about the, with the conical bottom is as we cool the beer, that forces the yeast and the heavy particulates settle out first. They settle down in the cone, and it just acts as a, a way to clarify and like, concentrate the yeast in the beer. So then when our beer is finished fermenting, uh, this just naturally kind of cleans it up. And then from there, from here, we'll go with filtering, and then from filtering to the right beer um, It's going to be kind of loud and echoing in here. This is the filter room. And basically what we've got going on in here is this is a DE filter. This is a plate and frame filter over here. Uh, basically, it's pretty much a uh, coarse filter and a fine filter. Uh, what we do via the hard pipes coming in and out of this room is we pump the beer over from those fermenters where we were just at into the filter room. We get them all nice and cleaned up and pretty and run through our nice beautiful filters here. Get them so that they're uh, biologic or biologically, microbiological and they're stable. Uh, and then uh, we get a pump out of this room. And basically over here, just beyond these wood barrels, those are the right beer tanks down here on the set of things. And uh, we'll go there next. La 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 la. Sissy boy.